<laughs> what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video today literally today oliver bearman makes his debut in formula one for ferrari and we're gonna simulate his first ever race let's see how he gets on here we go. What can Virtual Ollie do? In my previous video, we simulated Lewis Hamilton's debut at Ferrari. Feel free to go check that out. Link in the description. But today, we're going to be chucking a rookie in to the Ferrari to see how they do. So we're going to start from the ground up. We're going to sign Ollie. We're going to actually manufacture some early upgrades for the car. Hopefully, those go on in time. And uh, we'll see exactly what Ollie can do in comparison to Charles Leclerc. Of course, as well, uh, I get well soon to Carlos as well, who's uh, having his appendix out. Okay, first things first. Carlos signs, with all due respect, it's it's time to say goodbye. Let's say Maloney absolutely dominated last weekend in Bahrain. Uh, apparently, <laughs> cannot race in F1. Bruh! What do we do? What do we do? I can't even... I oh, can't even have him as a reserve driver. Are you joking? There he is! Oliver Bevan, welcome to Formula One. Welcome to Ferrari. There's his stats right there. Definitely legit, but I guess a, a, a fair reflection of a rookie. Uh, who has just entered into F1. With these F1 games, they always give the rookies crap stats, even though, you know, on, on paper, in theory, they can be just as quick as anyone if they have the talent. So, yeah, I feel like that's 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 relatively fair. And we should see a pretty close reflection of um, Ollie's performance with those stats versus him jumping into a Ferrari with not much preparation. I hope that makes sense. We're going to skip over Bahrain and we're going to jump straight into his first race in Saudi Arabia. Oh my god, Leclerc is P1 in the fight for P1. Leclerc's gonna run out. Leclerc's not gonna finish this race. Oh, how sad is this? I can't get excited. Leclerc's gonna run out of fuel and he's just made an overtake for the lead. Oh no. Oh, Leclerc, I'm so sorry. I'm waiting for the shaft. Here it comes. He's out of fuel at the last corner. And he's lost the win. And he's not even going to finish! Charles Leclerc is out of the race. Charles Leclerc, when leading a race, won't go on to finish it. No! <laughs> that is so Ferrari. That is so Ferrari. He led into the last corner. And he's out of fuel. And just like that, Oliver Behrman is going to beat Charles Leclerc on debut. Look at this. What an overtake. From Oliver Behrman, flies past Leclerc like he's not even moving. And beats him in his first race. He's just that good. Oh dear, wasn't that disappointing for Charles Leclerc? He's not even surprised at this rate. All right. We have a new underfloor. Let's manufacture that. We're good to go for now. Underfloor complete, thank you. Factory fire. This now means we won't be able to get that front wing upgrade on. Can we can we just can we just let a small part of the factory burn a little bit more so we could just You know, I think it's might be maybe worth the risk for that extra front wing. Come on! Oh, we were one day away. One day away, guys. I don't want to respond to this. Ignore. Snooze. Snooze it. Oh guys, that's horrendous. <laughs> Come on. Should have let me just like not pause the shutdown. Just just let me deal with the consequences after today. Hang on a second. I'm surprised we even got that upgrade, to be honest. Okay, well, it's complete, but we can't make the wing. If there's like some kind of workaround to get this wing on, I will absolutely take it. Even if I could... There's a workaround! There's a workaround! Yes! Yes! We chased it! <laughs> we 
We found the emergency manufacturing factory somewhere else in Italy. And we've cheesed it on for round two. Let's go. <laughs> don't tell the FIA about our secret manufacturing facility. They don't need to know. We've got the upgrade on, even with our factory shut down. See, rules don't apply to Ferrari. We have unlimited resources. Let's get into this weekend. Ollie Behrman's first race. Haas have built it for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how we got it, but we've got it. Oh my God. 100% setup satisfaction. Wow. That is amazing. For a rookie, first proper weekend that we're doing for him. 100% setup and he's still got a spare practice session to go. All right. Here we go for qualifying. Leclerc straight to the top. Behrman into P3. Wow, we are fighting with Red Bull today. Lovely stuff. And like, this is quite a tall order. He's going up against Charles Leclerc. One of the best qualifiers on the grid. If not the best qualifier on the grid. Use the same tires we used. Again, for Q2, that is going to be the strat. Um, now, if we are lucky, I think, I think Leclerc will get through on the U set. Oli is going to be a bit trickier with that pace deficit. Is that safe? I think Leclerc is good. I think he's just going to be safe. I think he'll be P9 or P10 by the end of this run. Oh, we're risking it. We put this whole video in jeopardy if he gets knocked out. We're staying in. Only safe. Yes! We get through on one set of tires. And now look at all the tires we have unlocked. We're going to give them both equal chance to get pole position. Equal chance. Equal chance for pole. Stroll gets in the way though. 27 for... Oh my god. Perez is 8 tenths off. Behrman. Oh, 8 tenths as well. I I do believe that was Stroll getting in the way. That's a huge margin. Still though, Behrman is P6. And I think he'll be no worse than P7 now. Oh, by the way, he's, he's past his main objective of getting into Q3. Behrman P6. Leclerc on pole for the time being. What does Verstappen do? Here he comes out of the last corner. I'm quite disappointed in that Q3 effort from Behrman. At least in comparison to, to Leclerc. Maybe that was an insane lap from Leclerc. We don't, we don't know. Perez looks like he's done. So we have a Ferrari on pole. A Ferrari is on pole in Jeddah. Will we see that in real life? Imagine if Behrman did it. That'd be two poles in one weekend. I'm not sure if that's ever been done before. But yeah, P7 for Behrman. He made it into Q3. I can't really complain. Leclerc gets pole, but eight tenths difference between the two of them. Let's hope that race pace is more closely matched. It's chance to see just what Charles Leclerc can achieve here. They're on pole and it's well deserved. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. The car looks beautiful. Now moments away from Let's see if we can win this race. No running out of fuel today for Charles Leclerc. Five red lights and we are underway for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. What we all want to know is can Behrman get a podium in a Ferrari? Can he win? Let's see. Good prediction to see what Charles Leclerc can do as well. Side by side with Max Verstappen on lap one. What tyres Verstappen on? He's on the soft, so no wonder he's pretty quick. My goal, I suppose, was to get this slower tire out of the way early to slow down Verstappen, but that has not worked. It's not worked. Bam enough to P7. Perez has just overtaken us as well. Yeah, this is going to be a tough stint for us. If we can stay with, though, if we can stay with, we loving life. All right, we're in the slipstream. We're in the DRS of Lance Stroll. We're in good company now to get dragged along. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. The Red Bulls are squabbling. Verstappen's getting held back by Perez. And that's keeping us in it. Stroll has DRS. Funny fact, actually. The day after the Bahrain Grand Prix, I went to my local uh, mall, literally 100 meters away from where we were staying, and I saw Lance Stroll walking around with his girlfriend as well. Pretty cool. But, uh, you know... Who would have known? F1 drivers are humans as well. And they, they like to go shopping. Also, in my hotel, Roman Grosjean was staying there too. 
And it's not like it was a bougie hotel or anything. It was, you know, slightly above average. But Grosjean and F2 drivers were staying there, which was, which was cool. Behrman is rising to the top. If we get Alonso, that's a Ferrari 3-4. And that's, you know, probably better than where you would expect him to be. I wouldn't expect Behrman to be this competitive. Some would say that's low expectations, but honestly, it's realistic. That's, that's, that's kind of subdued, somewhat realistic expectations for a guy in his first race and with the stats that he's got right now. That's not bad. We're going to go attack modes. And now that we get P4, let's yeet some battery. Stay ahead. Can we stay ahead? We should get him now. We're pushing harder now. There we go. That is P4 for Oliver Behrman. A few push laps now. Is, is it unrealistic to say that we could catch up? Anything is possible. Behrman is flying right now. 33-7. He was quicker than all the leaders. Oh my god, Leclerc <laughs> leads. Leclerc is leading. Man, this is kind of slowing him down. How much our tires? 58%. It's not amazing on his tires, but you wouldn't expect a rookie to be better than well-established front runners. He's doing great. He's, uh, he's honestly doing amazing. I'm a proud father right now. What will happen though is we'll get an undercut in this next stint and then I think Behrman will be in the lead fight. Might even get him attack. Get him to attack. We're four, three tenths away from getting DRS, guys. This is worth pushing for. We're so close. So, so close to getting DRS. One second. Oh my god. We're in DRS. Oh my goodness. This guy's cracked. We are killing the tires to do this, but it's worth it for DRS. Behrman is now in the fight for the lead of this race. There's the leaders. There's Behrman. And meanwhile, Leclerc is just saving tires. Just chilling in P2, saving resources, charging battery. He's exactly where he needs to be. We are losing time, guys. Race is long. Race is long. Race is long. Imagine if the Red Bulls crash. Imagine. Now that we're established here, I think we can we can maybe eke out the tires for another few laps because we are we have cheesed the tires to get in this position. If we can stay in DRS and still get to our pit window, we have essentially done the best first stint of anyone. Scratch that. Nine tenths, one second. Do we get DRS though? We have severely fallen out. Not ideal. Not ideal. We're going to have to uh, maybe bring this in earlier than I thought. Still though, like I said, my, my point from earlier still stands. We will get the undercut and be into the leads in the next stint. All right, let's go attack on these tires. And we are going to box this lap for mediums. We only have one set of mediums. And then one set of fresh softs for the rest of the race. So we're quite... We're cutting this quite close on strategy. But we're still in the fight with the leaders. We have made it, chat. And not too far away from the leaders. That is a good stint from Ollie. Not ideal. Four and a half second pit stop. Four and a half second pit stop. I think there was multiple tires. Multiple tires that didn't go on properly. Because the tire that we saw that was slow to get off was actually changed before other ones. So, there you go. And to add insult to misery... Uh, wait. To add insult to injury, we've emerged in traffic. Yeah. Without that slow start, we'd be clear of the traffic. That has cost us... probably four seconds to our race time. He's going for... Oh... Uh, yeah, alright. That, that'll do. That'll do, don't care. Sit behind, get the DRS. I think we've given DR. We're really good at giving DRS away. We don't have DRS, but we've managed to stay ahead. The traction was good enough out of the last corner. Now it's the undercut phase. How long until our rivals come in? Expected strategies. Uh, they're all on soft, so they're expected between lap 18 and 24. For mediums to the end. That's a one stop. So, they'll probably be in around lap 19, 20, 21. Get three laps undercut. Oh my god. Wait a second. Wait a second. Red Bull? 
What are you cooking here? A double stop! A double stack! Oh, you idiots! Verstappen's been shafted. I don't want to know what Jos Verstappen's thinking right now. <laughs> Alright, Behrman is ahead of Verstappen. Alright, these two bozos need to get out of the way. Both the Mercs fighting away. Come on, don't sit behind. Don't sit behind. Nice. Job is done. Lovely stuff. Behrman is now on the podium. That's all right. That is all right. Tight with Perez. Tight with Perez. Oh, could this be a shorter pit loss than we thought? If we come out with fresh softs versus Perez, which we have, Oh, we're looking good, guys. We are looking good. This is really interesting. We could go to the end if we want to save the softs a little bit for Leclerc. We're going to overtake Perez, and then we're going to try and break DRS. Next lap is the full send lap for both cars. Oh, he's already got him. Now we're going to go hunting, as we say, in Ferrari land. Yes. Now we run away with both cars. We need to pull a second in this first sector, which we've done. Amazing. Behrman needs to do the same. Behrman needs to do the same. It's got worse tires though, it might be a bit trickier. We pulled one point, of, wow, two seconds to the clerk, to Perez rather. That is insane. Oli has not done that unfortunately but we are gonna box soon we are gonna box uh honestly i could see alonso at mercedes i would say alonso to mercedes is most likely if not kimmy antonelli as soon as we start losing time to perez we box yeah we're gonna box for new tires bam it's coming in i think we're quiet we might oh there's only 15 laps to go really I reckon we bring them both in. We bring them both in. We go aggressive because we want to give the incoming tire as much time as possible to uh, to really shine. All right, the close in. Final stop of the day. Come on, get him out! Fucking hell! Six and a half seconds, bro. That's. Almost all of our margin gone. Oh, but they have trouble releasing the car. That's the easy part. Can't release the car? Jesus. Here we go. For more pain. What's the fucking point? What is the point? 12 second pit stop for Behrman. And if we rejoin behind this, I would have lost the plot. What is the point when we do pit stops like that? Unbelievable, guys. Let's lift off. Absolutely unbelievable. Why is this game so realistic? If Behrman gets within 10 seconds of Alonso, we know that he would have smashed it for sure. And now we run away. Run away with the fresh tyres. The tyres are not much better than the Red Bulls. That's crazy. I know we can push the tyres to the end, but we uh, are just going to sit behind the Perez and save fuel. If Alonso... Alonso better not get DRS here. I swear down. I swear. Oh, he's got DRS. You are joking. DJ Mott, DRS. DJ Mott. Other third. It's not Alonso, it's Stroll. It's Stroll. Can we get this lap car out of the way, please? Oh, all right, that'll do. Into P5. Thank you very much. Three to go. More light. 
I think that pretty much confirms we're within 10 seconds of Alonso without that stupid pit stop. Oliver Behrman would have got a top four and been pretty much bang on where he should have been in this race. Probably beyond where he should have been in this race. Yellow flag. What's this for? What happens? Piastri's locked up. Let's have a look. Take a We're taking the lead of the Grand Prix, by the way. There's the car of Piastri. Things were going smoothly. Well, you could see the lockup, but that's just the risk you take. Yikes. The later you leave it. Imagine if we had a safety car. Imagine if we had a safety car in that moment. Three laps to go. Hang on to the lead. Yes, we have the lead. We are now leading. I don't know if I want to push yet. Perez is on nearly dead tires. Actually, maybe I will push. I think I will push, actually. One second. One second to Perez. I think Leclerc's won this now. Yes! Race is ours now, guys. P1 and P5 for Ferrari is actually pretty amazing when you think about it. When we had back-to-back -back horrendous pit stops. Hell, Behrman had two horrible pit stops in this race. His first stop was terrible as well. And that stopped us from being in the fight with the Red Bulls for Behrman. Honestly, that changed the game. Behrman had a slow stop, didn't have DRS on either Perez or Verstappen. And he got gapped ever since because he had older tires. If not for that, I think Behrman would be pretty close to the Red Bulls, maybe even beating one of them if he qualified better. If things just went our way a little bit better this weekend. We're on the last lap. Charles Leclerc <laughs> was on target to win the first race in Bahrain. We screwed him over by not fueling him up enough. Actually, let's prevent history from repeating itself. And we need to increase. <laughs> we want him to finish. Five second gap. Let's just let's just ensure he makes it to the end this time. Could have been two wins on the bounce. It will be a win here in Saudi Arabia. Provided he doesn't chuck it in a barrier right here, right now. Out of the last corner. Charles Leclerc finally gets glory with Ferrari. The Red Bull party is over. Well, this was incredibly difficult. GG. Yeah, you're doing a fantastic race. Incredible drive from Charles Leclerc. Absolute W's all round. There it is. There's no doubt that they deserve their spot at the top of the podium. What a drive. And for Oliver Behrman, on his debut, a top five against all the odds. Two horrible pit stops. A lot of traffic. Good job on them. Can't ask for much more than that. You cannot ask for much more than that. And honestly, exceeded expectations. Got into Q3. Personally, on his side, he did nothing wrong, really, for most of the weekend. His Q3 lap could have been better, and it would have set up the rest of his weekend. But apart from that, did an incredible drive in his first weekend. Now, isn't that the kind of drive we love to see from Charles? But there we go, guys. That is my video for today. Taking over Ferrari, giving Behrman his debut. A little teaser into what to expect this weekend. Will Ferrari win? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, of course, in real life, Charles Leclerc had his issue with the brakes in Bahrain. Maybe he can cook this weekend in, uh, in Saudi. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know down in the comments where you think Behrman will finish in both quali and the rate. You're probably seeing this after quali anyway. But where will he finish in his first race? Um, I think top 10 in quality would be great. And then somewhere near the top five would be incredible for a first race. Let's see. Let's see what he can do. It's, uh, it's a tough ask for someone to jump in at 18 years of age into Ferrari and perform. If he can do that, then we know we've got uh, quite the talents on our hands. From me, Mattia Benotto, I'll see you next time.